okay so um uh, we have created the pop-up but then um that pop-up this pop-up we create a button to click on it and, and it's gonna pop up but what we wanted is when we click on this item it should show the pop-up so um, I'm gonna remove this button okay I'm gonna remove this button we don't click on it but what we want is that we click on the item and it's gonna show that pop-up so we're gonna use JavaScript to do that in the index um, at the place that we display the products okay display products here at the end after displaying the products we're gonna set some events for set events for the list item so what we do right now is we're going to um, just um, how to say um, what do we do uh, we're going to display that pull up so we're gonna uh, look for that one look for that one is list products uh, uh, the pop-up it's up sorry the pop-up itself is pop-up of it lead then inside the index over here we'll look for it then we say pop-up pop-up okay then we're going to open this is very simple this one is a javascript code in order to um, 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 open the pop-up Oh, and then we only open the pop up uh, when the um, list item is clicked. So we're going to just cut this one and put into let's just say uh, list products dot um, on okay tab. Then on the list item, we'll make some functions. Okay, what functions is that? What function is that we're gonna do is here. Okay, so we're gonna pop up the menu when you again so for this list product on tab okay when you tap on it then um, um, when you tap on the list item then it's gonna call to the function that function is that, that it's going to access to your pop-up in JavaScript and pop it up okay let's just try to run it now let's just try to run it now so now you could pop up okay so let's just click on this one load okay then um, click on this okay we have to pop up there okay we can close it pop up okay just click on them it's gonna pop up okay click on it it's gonna pop up click on it it's gonna pop up okay so <clears throat> when it's pop when it's pops this one up we're going to uh, set some values for it we want to set some value for it so if we click on delete we know which row we're deleting click on this one uh, if you click on updates we know which which data that we are deleting so the things that I'm gonna do is when you click on an item I'm going to get the data at the uh, list item and store it as a current product okay so next time we click on this um, item we're going to set the values of current products in order to use when we delete or when we um, update so in order to do that at the index so before popping up what I'm gonna do is I'm going to out here I'm going to declare a variable which is current product okay that one going to have the ID which is gonna store like minus one um, uh, name is going to store like nothing okay and uh, quantity going to store something like minus one so we're going to create a current products okay a current products with the ID name and quantity let me just make it ID this way name and quantity um, no so don't be just use this one so we're going to access the current items uh, there are the current items okay um, we're going to access the data of the current items so we're going to access the list item which is this then so we're gonna do um, uh, current products dot so I'm gonna put this one on top just to make sure this one gonna be executed first okay current products dot okay or is that here okay current product dot dot ID okay uh, let me see which ID is that one that I'm using yeah that ID equal now to access to this item that you need to find 
the um, uh, uh, span with the name attribute equal to name uh, equal to ID sorry so what is that span uh, let me just look at that span uh, it is defining here when you display so uh, the span ID okay this one is ID okay the span with an attribute name equal to um, ID okay attribute name equal to ID exactly okay when you find this one you're gonna get the text for it okay so this one is the um, ID okay and similarly we're gonna do um, current products dot name equal to if you, if you feel like uh, you don't understand the fine item uh, I uh, already created a video previously about this so this this is the list item itself that you're currently clicking on so you can find the um, span with the attribute equal to name equal to um, ID then you're gonna find the span with the name attribute equal to name this one is to get the name and you get the text out of it then similarly, you take the current product dot um, ID name and quantity equal to um, this, and you're gonna find the um, name attribute must be equal to quantity and dot text. So you have the ID, the name, the quantity set there, and later on um, from the menu you would be able to. Um, update or delete or actually if you like to you can just display uh, those values on the pop-up there okay those values on the pop-up here but then um, don't don't need to uh, I'm not gonna um, do that one so uh, we are now able to set the values okay set the values of the current product that you're clicking on and also the um, um, show the pop-up. Let's just to make sure if we uh, really uh, be able to select uh, um, the data. I'm gonna do the alert and put the um, current products dot name. Let let's just test it to see if it we, we, we are really able to uh, access to the data. Okay. Okay. So. Now click on this one, click on this one. Um, we don't have the products and now probably I have some errors. So let's just inspect it. Okay, console. Yeah, this one is syntax error somewhere. So line 20. Oh, this one, remember, it's not going to be ended with um, this one. So it must be ended with comma. So this one must be ended with comma. 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 Yes. Okay, execute again. let's just see click on this one click on this one click on this one product three okay that one is the product three that we we are able to take okay then it shows this pop up this one is product four yeah okay it's right we are able to take the product name okay so this one is uh, that one is just for you for us to debug so I'm gonna remove that I'm gonna remove this Okay, and next time we're going to implement the uh, delete methods. Okay, next time we're gonna implement the delete methods and wire at the end. Okay.